Hey guys, my name is Jeremy and in today's video I'm going to be talking about is online college harder and just the pros and cons of online college in general as opposed to the traditional college where we go attend class in person. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jeremy and I'm an incoming third year in the University of Cal Poly Pomona, which I'm gonna be taking online this fall semester due to the whole pandemic. And I have basically taken one semester online already from the previous semester where the COVID just started. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna give you guys the pros and cons of online college and overall tell you guys whether it's harder or easier. So let's just tackle down on the pros of online college to begin with. The best part I would say about online college is probably just the comfortability of just taking classes online at home and wherever you are, because in that situation, you're basically saving the walk to classes, saving the commute, you know, saving the traffic. And you just save time to get ready in general because you can just be in your comfy home clothes when you are taking online class. Not only that, but you can also attend classes in the comfort of your own bed or when you're eating or pretty much when you're just doing whatever, right? And then you could just attend the Zoom lecture or just watch the pre-recorded lectures when you have the time. Another thing to point out is also the flexible scheduling that you guys can have so you don't have to deal with gaps and waiting on campus or waiting on the library for your next class to start. And this is especially convenient for those of you who commute and have like six to seven hours gaps because you know usually you just commute and you want to stay there for the whole time right you don't want to commute back and forth and you just stay in the library or you just fill, try to fill in time whereas if you're home you could be more productive you could clean your room you could just pretty much take a nap even if you want to the third thing that is really good about online schooling as well is the fact that you could save on campus money or like housing money right if you live on campus and if you live far away and but not only that but even if you commute you could save money on lunch you guys maybe have ingredients at home to cook or your parents could cook for you as opposed to just, you know, you buying food on campus and that's spending another 10 or $15 from your wallet. And the fourth thing that is really good about online college is also the pre-recorded lectures. Because obviously if you will go to school in person, usually you don't have pre-recorded lectures or at least in my school they don't. So if you miss a class because of sickness or absences or whatever, right, you're gonna miss the lecture and you rely on your friends to explain the lesson to you. Whereas if you are doing online college, the lectures are usually pre-recorded so that way you can always rewatch it. If you miss something or you don't understand something, you can always rewind back and relearn that concept again until you understand it. All right, now I'm gonna talk about the four cons of online college and why it could be harder for you guys depending on your work habits or your study habits. So the first thing that I'm gonna mention is obviously the social interaction and the campus experience overall. When you're doing online college, you're definitely missing out on the on-campus experience. So you're missing out on basically like socializing with friends, you know, doing the job fair, talking to your classmates and just, you know, getting food, hanging out with your friends and making new friends. And that honestly is a huge sacrifice because college is definitely one of the years that you want to be socializing with other people and you want to be meeting new people, especially those in your major. Number two is I want to say that professors are usually harder to reach online. And by harder to reach, I don't mean like the time to talk to them because I'm pretty sure you could always schedule appointments or they have, you know, dedicated office hours where you can join in the Zoom. But what I mean is also like the professor to student interaction is going to be way different because if you're in class and you will go up to your professor, you could easily, you know, bring up your paper and point them like, oh, you know, this is what I did wrong or what, how, how can I improve the sentence or whatever. But if you're online, you have the little inconvenient to screen share and you know, it's just harder. It's not the same as it is in person because obviously you can get the ideas much easier if you're in person talking to a professor. Another con about online college is also your devices and availability. And what this means is that sometimes you might have a potato computer or your computer is just not up to standards where you don't have a webcam or it's just really laggy and then sometimes you have really unreliable internet connection and you may not be able to take that exam or may not be able to attend that lecture or zoom session whereas if you're in person you know and you're taking an exam you don't really need any internet at all you kind of just like go there and take it and you don't you can't really miss an exam unless you just ditch school but yeah if you even if you're perfectly fine and you're well at home you may have an unstable internet connection where it doesn't let you take the exam and it's just more complicated and you have to tell the professor like oh sorry i missed the exam or whatever right and number four which i think is going to be the make or break of the con is basically distractions and lack of motivation so basically if you're taking online college you have your computer right in front of you you could easily access youtube you could easily play your favorite game you could easily nap on the bed while the lecture is going on and it just depends on your work habits and your study habits and how you tackle college trust me having a bed right next to you is really really tempting to just take a nap during lecture and just miss out on the whole thing so again i think this is definitely one of the hardest thing about online college is just lack of motivation whereas if you're there in person and in class and enjoying the lecture you can actually absorb more knowledge than you are at home. That is definitely one huge con of the whole online college situation. So overall, I do believe that online college could be easier or harder on your part. I personally think it is just harder to be more motivated in online college, especially as a computer science major, I would want to, 
you know, have a hands-on experience, you know, code with my friends and just troubleshoot problems together. Whereas if I'm at home, you know, I rely on other sources like Stack Overflow, for example, right? But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit a like and hit the subscribe button. And if you're new to my channel, I do upload videos weekly. So I will catch y'all next week. Bye guys.